three, three individuals who have been charged with the murder of police officer Richard Mendez and the attempted murder of police officer Raul Ortiz. Right now at 4 o'clock, a small measure of closure for the families of those officers. The Philadelphia Police Department now says they've arrested every suspect involved in last week's deadly shooting at the Philadelphia International Airport. It is Wednesday afternoon. I'm Brian Tapp. And I'm Sarah Bloomquist. The big story on Action News is developing this afternoon. Philadelphia Police did announce the arrest of two additional suspects in the murder of one of their own. Authorities believe they now have accounted for all four suspects connected to that deadly violence last Thursday night in the airport parking garage. Action News reporter Maggie Kent live at police headquarters this afternoon with more on the investigation and that news conference just a couple of hours ago, Maggie. Brian and Sarah, one of the people at the scene we know is deceased. Three others have been picked up by a number of different agencies, including the FBI and U.S. Marshals, and now they'll face murder and attempted murder charges in the shooting death of Officer Mendez and the shooting of Officer Ortiz. What's not clear now is where Mendez's service weapon is and who was the person who pulled the trigger. It's a bittersweet kind of moment today. Nothing can bring 50 year old officer Richard Mendez back, but police will be able to lay their brother in blue to rest, knowing everyone responsible will face consequences. This is our belief now that all the individuals that were inside of that Dodge Durango the night that uh, this incident uh, happened were identified and we believe we have them in the custody. Facing murder and attempted murder charges, 21 year old Hendrick Pena Fernandez of Pensacola, New Jersey was picked up by the FBI. Alexander Batista Polanco, also 21 of Camden, was arrested by the U.S. Marshals early Tuesday morning. Process for two warrants in New Jersey, then in Scranton, and is now headed to Philadelphia. To face the charges for murder today, he should be arriving shortly to the homicide division. It comes after Yobrani Martinez Fernandez was arrested by U.S. Marshals at a hotel in Cherry Hill on Monday after 18 year old Jesus Duran was dropped at Children's Hospital by his friends. He was shot during the incident and later died. The Mendez family released this statement read by Councilwoman Ketsi Lozada. We are relieved and grateful that progress toward justice for Richie has been made. We are thankful for the swift action that the Philadelphia Police Department took to find the, per the perpetrators. Now, Philadelphia police say their investigation continues, and they say there were a number of people uh, that may face obstruction charges, those who helped to torch that Dodge Durango that these three or four were driving in at the time, other people who helped rent it hotel rooms for those suspects who were on the run and lied to police about where they might be. All of this comes, as you mentioned, as a small measure of closure for the family who expects to bury their loved one, Officer uh, Mendez. On Tuesday. We're live outside of police headquarters. Maggie Kent, Channel 6 Action News. Sarah. Okay, Maggie, thank you.